what's up guys i'm going to show you a quick software tour of lollipop on the t-mobile z3 um it just rolled the update just rolled out so i'll show you guys what it looks like some of the new features the one thing that stands out the most that i see here is the quick toggles here that you can edit them if you see the button up here the little pencil if you click on it you can edit the quick toggles which stock android should have in my opinion but all you have to do is just you push you click and hold on it and you drag it down and then you can edit them and add whichever ones you want down here sync cast etc and there you go your setup hit close and then they'll be there again so you can edit these that was the one most exciting surprising thing that i saw and just it just works i really like that i'm going to go back into the settings here and if you see how everything has changed laid out here let's go to the very top wi-fi settings that stay the same bluetooth data usage um the data usage it's just the how it looks how it figures on there etc so that's really nice really simple that didn't really change let's go here under more and this is all the same Wi-Fi calling and this enabled band 12 for it so if you're in an area that has band 12 you'll be able to enjoy it um, let's go down here personalization you have your theme status bar icons this isn't new um, I really like this though you can remove items that you don't want like if you want the battery to show up the alarm button bluetooth time etc you can remove any, everything from your status bar that's really awesome in my opinion i really wish stock android would have that um simple oversight really but that's something that i really liked uh from coming from kitkat to Olipop. then lock screen the different lock screens there so that's that's new though these three different clocks um how i like it how it's set up then let's go over here calls nothing really different changed here just a bunch of settings home you can change between the different homes display let's see what's new here glove mode is the same auto rotate all these things are the same another thing i don't know if you guys noticed is the back home and recent key changed the icons changed i actually like these they're not bad um but i wish i would use the circle from stock lollipop but you know you can't win them all let's see storage here didn't really take up don't have it has external um, you can do OTG if you use a micro USB, which is really nice. So you don't have to worry about expandable storage, but it does have expandable storage. So it's not something that really changed there. Um, the users is really cool because you have multi-users guest mode. Some manufacturers like to remove that, some didn't. So it just varies on the manufacturer, I guess. But I like that the Sony included that. Um, then let's see what else. Nothing really else has changed here security that well, looks all the same and let's go into accounts that's all the same date and time nothing changed here accessibility nothing really changed here printing i don't remember if i saw this but the services if they're installed you can install google cloud print um, HP has one, a few different ones, if you have a wireless printer to connect to it, so that's really nice. Developer options, all stayed the same, so can't really see anything different. About phone, this is what probably everyone's interested in, so it's 5.0.2, and it, it is Lollipop, if you can see here. Lollipop, lolly, lolly, lollipop. And let's play this little game, see how many I can get one oh one ah uh -huh. let's try one more and then we'll nope okay last one promise one oh oh well that's lollipop is loaded on there so you can see that um nothing really else different 
the major thing that I noticed that I really liked, like I said earlier, was that you can edit the quick toggles up here. That was my favorite feature that you can edit. So if you guys are looking for changes, etc., that's the one major change. Like I said, I was just going to do a quick overview. Um, I really like also, let's see if I can show you guys here. If you hold the record, or record screen, take screenshot, all that has changed also. So that's really nice. But that's basically it, you guys. Just a quick tour overview of it. Um, not sure any of the other things really changed. Let's see the apps all look the same so that's really about it just a quick software tour of the different things um if you guys like the video give it a thumbs up if you want to see anything else let me know and i'll go ahead and upload that uh until next guy next video you guys peace out and thanks for watching talk to you guys later